Okay, so I have my bow spread down. Ah, stop. Yep. Okay, so I have my bow spread um, about an 8x8 eight eight, uh, mahogany laminated boards. Um, I have it shaped down, tapered. Uh, the top is actually flat, but the sides taper and the bottom tapers up. And as you can see from the old one, um, the tip is rounded for the crans iron to fit on, which is where the um, roller furler and the side stays and the bob stay attached to it with this uh, round crans iron. So I have to take my bow sprit, uh, the new one, and make a circle or a uh, uh, round stock out of the square. So there's a way to do that. Um, that is basically it's kind of a formula, but um, so if you have a, a square board, right, uh, to get it to a round shape uh, inside, you first start by cutting the four corners off and create an octagon, right? So in order to cut these um, um, four corners off evenly, there's a kind of a formula that you, um, that you uh, use. And so if, if this was, um, you know, if you wanted to cut an inch off here and an inch off here, and an inch off on each, each of these would be one inch, right? One inch off um, here and here. Um, what you have to do is know how much you're going to leave here because you want this to be the same size as this. And which would be also the same size as this and this and this, the eight sides that you're leaving all need to be the same side. So you know that if you cut off an inch on here, that this is a right triangle, that this is going to be the Pythagorean theorem, right, of the, of the leg, and that is um, a squared, right, plus b squared equals c squared, so that's one squared plus one squared equals two squared, right? Uh, or square root of 2 rather. So we know that if that's 1, that's 1, that is the square root of 2, which equals about 1.41. So in um, this example, and it can be um, uh, grown to whatever size, you know that the relationship of, of each side of the, of the um, square uh, to cut these off is 1 inch by and 1.41 1 inches and one inch and we can just round that to 1.4 so each side you have to divide into three deals so this is a relationship that stands no matter if your board is 10 inches wide or one inch wide the ratio is 1 to 1.4 to 1 on each side so you can take and measure that out um, with a uh, rule and sit there and fight with calculations and it's actually easier to do it with metric and so if I'm, you know, let's call it 90 millimeters, I've got to figure out what one of the one, the one represents, and then the other one represents, and then this would be the wider portion. But really the easier way to do it is to create something called a spar gauge. So you basically take, um, I just took a piece of flat aluminum, I um, drilled holes in it at this, um, at the ratio. Now I needed something that was going to do about a three and a half uh, inch piece of wood so I made it a little wider than three and a half inches and again I use metric because it's easier to work in the in the decimals I mean in the um, in the in the metric system right so I I made this to be 30 millimeters 42 millimeters and 30 millimeters so my pins is what will ride on the side of the uh, of the um, of the side of the wood and this, regardless of how thick the wood is, these two will always be at the ratio of 1 to 1.4 to 1. So, again, by, by, by creating this with two pins, and I just used a couple of nails, right? And it needs to be on the inside of those nails. And then, so the ratio, again, 1, 1.4 to 1, or in this case, 30 millimeters, 42 millimeters, and then 30 millimeters. And so, with the spar gauge, Again, even if, a, if you have a tapering um, board, that, that ratio will always transfer. So I just use my pencil, I stick it in my little hole there, and, and I, just, I run this along 
the um, length of the wood, right? And then I come back and I put this one in. And so now I have my 1 to 1.4 to 1. And again, this is not exact, but because my wood is, is not 3.41 inches wide. But if it, my wood was 3.41 inches, which is pretty close, you can see I've got a 1, I've got a 1, and I've got almost a 1.5 or inch and a half or 1.4. So this, again, regardless of how thick your wood is, even if my wood was only say two inches wide, which is this end, and I used it on this, I'd still get the same, I'd still get the same ratio of one to 1.4 to one. Hope that makes sense. So what I'll do here is I'll, um, what I'll do is I'll go through and mark each side of this uh, wood each side, all four sides, and I'll know where, um, how I cut these corners off. So it'll come right to here, and I'll cut that corner off there, and that corner there, and that corner there, and then that corner there. Make sense?